people love this spot yes. where all the, the two branches, I didn't realize it was our water. Everyone's agreed. Hilda's bike ride has been a runaway success. <laughs> and whilst the cyclists tuck in, Hilda makes a beeline for Simi. And how did the meeting go? Which meeting was that? Well, you were meeting some young man. Yes, well, it went very well indeed. Yes. Have you seen him since? No. Well, I've seen him twice. Yes. I've seen him at the barn dance, the one that I met. Yes. I've seen on the barn dance again. Yes. But then I didn't see him again after that. No. I talked to him on the phone, but no, no good. I'm afraid I'm back to square one again. Oh, well, that's and that, unlucky. For and that's what I'm for the dating agency for. <laughs> that's a good I one. just go back <laughs> that's and, back yes. and shop around again. Do you have to pay it every time? <laughs> no, you pay a fee for a year. Oh, I see, so you can go on every, every week if you on. like. Yes, you can go right. every week. Goodness that's me, a bit that too much. Fun. I can't keep up with that. <laughs> Quite interesting. I've met, I've met eight, eight people so far. I've had eight dates. I know I've had disappointments. I know it hasn't worked, and I've been really excited about it and thought it would work, but I come very quickly, I bounce back and feel again every time there's a new chance again. It wasn't right, off I go, do it again. How do you feel now, though? You, you've had a few letdowns, haven't you? I feel different about it. Every time I learn something, I feel it's a lesson I've learned. Every time I learn, I really do feel I grow very quickly in, in learning what I must do. I feel I got involved too quick, and now I feel I'm, I'm approaching the dates with different attitudes. Every time I date somebody, I seem to go with yet another different attitude. First, I was really nervous, and, and then less nervous, and then and now I'm beginning to think I must get into a, try to build friendships before I think of love affairs. Is it worth all the agony, though, Cindy? Yeah. Yes, it's life. It's life, it's great. I think that's how you live and how you survive. I definitely think it's worth the agony. It's terribly painful, but to me, I feel I've certainly got a good balance of as much agony as I've had, as much fun I've had. So despite everything, it's back to the dating agency on yes. Monday? Yes, yes, definitely. Might all happen again, then? Yes. Yes. Here's to the next one. Yes. This is a tale <laughs> yes, definitely. This is a song without end. At Glade Farm, the verdict is imminent. What do you make of these hops, Terry? Uh, these this year, very good. Very good up crop this year. It must be quite satisfying when buyers and the samples come along and you know that you've got a good crop. You think you know you've got a good crop, then they can put the dampeners on you, but I mean, I would have said this year, it's not, they're not too bad. They're not too bad at all. So this is going off for analysis? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, they're going to go off for alpha analysis and then and then grading from the buyer. And like Dad says, I, th I don't have any problem with these ones here. Yeah. Uh, not bad. Quite a nice quality crop. It's all frightfully understated, which is the way the business is no, done. There's no fault in them. At all. But for the first time, the ever cautious Tony almost smiles. For everyone, the relief is enormous. He won't give up until he's gone. Now it's time to start thinking of the future. So this is about Brian's girlfriend. Oh well, oh. it's uh, he's caught in at the moment. Is he? Yes. Caught and strong. It, well, I think so. I'm not saying. I'm just telling you that it's strong, and I think maybe next year we might have the wedding of the year. Really? But that's all the information you're going to get out of me. Go on, who is she? <laughs> In fact, everybody's life is about to change. Did they start the bypass this week, Terry? Yeah. What right? do you reckon? It's going to make a bit of difference or not, then, us? It will be better for parking. No, yeah, no yeah. doubt about that. It's going to be the most dramatic event in the village's history. Yeah. But the problem is, we're going to lose the passing train. Yeah, that makes sense. Help yourself to happy now. Unhappiness will help you. There's no escaping it. 
Even up at Tony's local, where father and son toast the success of the hops, news of the bypass soon dominates the conversation. It's inevitable that it will do. I mean, it's going to be a bit of a nuisance to us while it, whilst it's going ahead and whilst they're doing it. But in, 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 the, in the long term, it's got to be a bit of a bonus to Bentley, because hopefully Bentley will, will become a village again. Well, it'll become a village, and the people who live in the village or live on the village or on the road as they do now won't have that paraphernalia getting out every morning trying to cross the road. Mm. I mean, it's bound to put the price of those houses up. Well, if it well, doesn't, yeah, there's mean, something odd. Yeah. I mean, I would have thought it puts the price up. The village shop might take a knock for a bit, but I think they'll get, get, it, get it back again. Yeah. You've got to sort of, you know, get out there and get it. When the first toilet goes up or whatever like you call the loo's going to the village, you know something's going to happen. Is, yeah. Yeah. And sure enough, alongside the loo, the first of the contractor's offices has arrived. It's not surprising some of the villagers were sceptical. There's been talk of a bypass here since the war. Work was due to start 15 years ago. Once you get down Lambert Way, every evening, every day, you'll find yourself doing the Lambert Way. In the hop pickers' ramshackle huts, it's party time. The long weeks of hard work are over. Brian's still suffering endless jokes about his love life. Ada's still dreaming of a home in the village. It's a pipe dream, of course. Tomorrow, as Ada knows only too well, it's back to reality with a bump. Now you've got to go back to London. Yeah, back to Manor Park. Back to loneliness. It is loneliness, isn't it? It is loneliness. How bad does it get sometimes? I've sat there sometimes. For one day, I was so depressed, I'd got all my tablets on the table. I thought, drop a bum or something. It's done. Was that the phone ring? So I picked up. It was Geraldine. So she said, you all right, Mum? I said, no, I'm not. I wish I was dead. Oh, shut up, she said. I said, well, truly, she said, what are you doing? I said, got all my tablets on the table, Geraldine. I said, if I take the lot, it's finished. All oh, right, she said, take them, Mum. She said, no, I hope you wake up when we put you in the oven. And she put the life out of me. And I thought, oh, pull yourself together. But I do, I do get morbid. Loneliness is terrible. It's a killer. It is. When will you start thinking about coming next to? When I go home. I do, honestly, no, I enjoy it. It's amazing. You go there, you're unpacking, you think, oh, I remember the time I did this to Roy, or Roy come in, we had laughs about it, you know, and you think of the people, wondering what's happening to them. So this really is a highlight of your year? It is. I think I'd die if I couldn't come up. And I keep thinking, please, God, though I've got this arthritis, I'm hoping to God it doesn't get no worse. And at least I can come. I mean, I can use my hands, Nigel, just to come hopping, just to mix with people like this. It's wonderful. It really is. Once you get down every evening, every day, you'll find yourself. Next morning, and another critical step in Alison's fight to keep the star open. She's due in court to appear before the licensing magistrates. It's just like being in court for something, you've done something wrong. It's absolutely horrific, it really is frightening. Um, they'll ask me complete licensing laws, and I don't really know what else they'll ask me. So you actually have to stand in the witness box, do you? Yes. Do you mind doing that? Uh, yes. <laughs> you have to swear on the Bible and everything, so we like this. <laughs> At, uh, normally you have your partner with you, but I'm on my own, so... Yeah, I've got loads of friends coming in to make sure the pub's open on time, and... Ah. And my son comes in to make sure it closes on time. Yes. <laughs> so you're a bit, uh, bit on edge? Yes. A uh, bit's not the word. <laughs> I've been up since about six this morning, dreading it. An absolute nightmare. 
And like I said, last night I was in tears. I just thought, oh, why am I doing this? I could have such an easy life. I'd just be a barmaid for the rest of my life and get paid at the end of the week. What happens if they say no to the licence? I have to move out of here today. Today? Today. Instant dismissal. So I'll have to move out of here. I'll lose my job, my home. So... <laughs> so it really is a big day. It's a hell of a big day. <laughs> if you get it? If I get it, it's going to be brilliant. It'll be celebrations in here tonight. Just down the road, Hilda and Margaret, as ever, are keeping a keen eye on developments. Yes, I said I wouldn't believe it till it started, and now we can. Gosh, isn't it going to make a difference then? Make Brilliant. a tremendous difference. Yes. And also walking down to the shop, those big lorries are so dangerous. Yes, I'm quite frightened, and people mm. like Mrs. Silver yes. are to get blown over. Yes. It's very well, exciting yeah. to think they've actually started. Well, McAlpin finds it a good firm, I think. Yes. Hope so, anyway. As long as they don't move that tree. I don't think they will. At the star, it's beginning to look like Alison's going to be late for her appearance in court. But he's not turned up yet, so I'd better give him a ring, see if he's forgot. Because it won't be a good impression, will it, it if won't. you arrive late? It won't. No. I want to be there. Ah. Uh, aha. He's just pulled up outside. Cool. Close so, for We're off. The drive to Aldershot is turning out to be one of the longest 15 minutes of Alison's life. Back in the village, Mounting interest in his love life has made Brian decide to talk about the rumours for the first time. His daughter Debbie's known about it for weeks, of course. Well, it's, it's true, yeah, but there's no names and no pactor at the moment, I'm afraid. You You're know, not going to say who it is? No, no, we, we let things go along and see what happens, and then when we're more sure about things, um, we talk about it. Is it serious, then? Well, uh, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's a dodgy subject at the moment. So, she a village girl? No, no, no. And uh, that's about as far as you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> no. Have you had some funny comments from people? Uh, some, <laughs> but you know, they, I mean, not directly to me. No, no, they're, they're probably a little bit cagey about saying too much to me. But uh, don't care. Man, no difference is it? Are you recording this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, recording anybody. No, no, no. Oh, you handled it very tactfully. <laughs>